Glenn, we're standing right outside of the school where little Moises Murillo died. And yes, this was a huge settlement, but his family told us that they will never receive full justice in his death. <laughs> the mother of a special needs student brought to tears outside the elementary school where he died. Her daughter telling reporters that no amount of money will ever bring them closure in his death. We were five of us and now we're down to four because one of them is gone, not because it was a natural cause of death, but it was caused by somebody, somebody's responsibility. Attorneys representing the family of then eight-year-old Moises Murillo announced a record settlement of $18 million against the Hacienda La Puente Unified School District. Moises, who had a clinical history of Down syndrome and a seizure disorder, was attending Sunset Elementary School on May 31st, 2017, the second day of summer school, when he was reportedly removed from his special adaptive stroller by school staff and placed into a school chair where according to the family's attorneys he was left strapped to the chair with a gate belt and unsupervised. Moises eventually fell backwards striking his head on the ground and was rushed to the hospital where he remained on life support. He eventually died of cervical spinal cord trauma. These are the weapons these are the murder weapons that were used to kill Moises and unfortunately nobody was held accountable in, the, in a criminal court but we certainly did that in the civil court as best we could. Moises' sister said their demand for justice was to ensure that no other family will ever experience the pain and loss they have to live with. Their attorneys also saying school districts have a responsibility to protect children and ensure proper policies and procedures are being followed for special needs students to ensure what they call negligence never happens again. It's just sad how somebody's irresponsibility could damage somebody eternally for life. District leaders have not responded to our request for comment on some of the allegations in this lawsuit and whether they've made revisions to their policies as it relates to special needs students. That's very latest here in La Puente. Karee Winter, KTLA 5 News.